Hey everyone, Grant K for the Flame Learning Channel. In Flame 2016 Extension 1, we introduced the concept of the Connected Conform workflow, which allowed you to keep multiple sequences synced together. This was done at the media level with the Sources sequence, and at the Segment Metadata level with the Shots sequence. This connected the sequences for versioning work, VFX work, as well as VFX shot distribution. Using this workflow, the production pipeline could be scaled up quite a lot, and this could even drive a facility wide collaborative workflow. In all cases, the shot sequence was a necessity to link segment metadata. Now in Flame 2017 Extension 1, this is no longer the case. The reason for this is that there are a lot of instances where the functionality of the shot sequence may not be required. For example, you may be conforming multiple timelines using the same source materials, and there may be a bit of VFX work, vertical compositing, and the odd updated edit. If there are no batch groups, shot distribution, or heavy collaborative workflows, you shouldn't need to use the shot sequence in order to link the segment metadata for the connected conform workflow. So in Flame 2017 Extension 1, a new connected conform workflow called Source Segment Connection has been added to link segment metadata across a bunch of sequences without creating a shot sequence. Let's run through the workflow of the Source Segment Connection. If you would like to follow along, please click the link in the YouTube description to download the media. Or alternatively, if you're watching the podcast version of this video, then type the link displayed in your web browser. I'll be assuming that you've already done conforming in Flame, because I won't be covering the conforming basics. So starting in an empty conform area, right click and load a new XML, AAF or EDL. The connected conform workflow will be the same for whatever format you are using. First, navigate to the media that is part of the download. Select one of the clips and look at the preview window. So the conform needs to be 1080 10 bit at 23976. Switch to the EDL options and set the frame rate to 23.976. Click the Resolution from Project button and click Copy from Selected Clip. This will ensure that the EDLs are formatted correctly in this case. Next, navigate up one level and go into the EDL folder. Now I've provided all the EDLs you need to follow along. So for starters, just select the 10 second and 35 second versions. Click the Import button. So these EDLs were received from the offline. To share media between these sequences, you need to create a Sources sequence. This puts all the sources in a single track within a new sequence, which will allow the media to link across multiple sequences in the sequences reel. Now let's go ahead and link the segments to their media. Click Search Location. In the browser, navigate to the Media folder. At this point, you can set the colour management for importing media if required, and click the Set button. If the media does not match the segments, click the Match Criteria button. For EDLs, enable Source Time Code and Tape. The match criteria can vary for different conforming formats. Click Set. In an ideal world, all the matches would be found, but there might be a bit of tweaking required. Click Link Sources. So the media has been linked to the Sources sequence, and you can scrub the sequence to see what you have. If you click on either the 10 second or 35 second sequence, you will see that the media is linked and shared across all the sequences. So this is one set of media, which is located in the Sources reel. Now switch back to the Sources sequence. As a tip, this single track sequence could also be sent to grading, and all the updated renders could be propagated to any linked sequences within the Connected Conform workflow. So the media is linked at the source level, and now we'll link the metadata at the segment level. As I mentioned earlier, in previous versions of Flame, 
This was only possible by creating the shot sequence. In Flame 2017 Extension 1, you now have this alternative workflow. Press Ctrl A to select all the segments in the sequence. Call up the contextual menu and look at the middle of the pop-up list. Here you will find Create Source Segment Connection. You could choose this straight away, but there are some options you need to be aware of. Sequences only, which is the default, means that the segment connection will only be performed with sequences in the Sequences reel, and all the other reels in the Reels group will be ignored. Overwrite existing connections means that if there is already a segment connection, it will be overwritten with a new one. And finally, you have Sync Up, which means that if you had already applied timeline effects to the segments, before creating the source segment connection, those timeline effects will be automatically synced to their segment connections as they are created. Just leave the defaults as is. Click Create Source Segment Connection. All the selected segments in the Sources sequence will display the Segment Connection icon. If you flick through the different sequence tabs, you will see that the segments are connected. Switch over to the Timeline area and swipe sideways to see the player. Now you can work in any of the sequences. For example, let's use the Sources sequence to do a bit of grading in Flame. With all the segments selected, Call up the Effects ribbon and choose Colour Corrector. Drop the saturation and increase the contrast for a stronger feel. Now switch to the blue channel and decrease the contrast. So let's say this is our stylized look. If you switch to either the 10 or 35 second sequence, the timeline effects have not been synced to the segments. So go back to the Sources sequence. Select all the media and call up the contextual menu. Choose Sync to Connected Segments. Going back to either the 10 or 35 second sequence, the look has been applied via the timeline effects. This works with vertical compositing too. For instance, go to the 10 second sequence. Navigate to the blue screen segment and select it. Call up the effects ribbon and choose Action. Now we need to key the image before it is graded, so move the action before the colour corrector in the effects pipeline. Double click on the action timeline effects to enter the editor. So you have access to all of Action's tools and 3D compositing environment. Switch to the media menu and go into the keyer. Since this video is about workflow rather than keying, use any of the keying tools to pull a key. In my case, I'll use the master keyer, and I'll pull a rough key using the toolset. Now once you're done, exit the keyer. Next, exit Action. Remember that if you want to use the layers beneath Action as the background for vertical compositing, enable Use Back on the right of the UI. Now even though you are in the 10 second sequence, right click on the blue screen segment. Choose Sync Connected Segments. If you switch to the Sources sequence, you will see the key on the connected segment. And if you switch to the 35 second sequence, you will also see the image keyed through the background. So for everyday type of work, the Source Segment Connection workflow is easier to use than using the Shots sequence. Finally, let's say you've been sent another version or an update of the edit. Let's see how the Connected Conform workflow handles this with the Source Segment Connection. Switch back to the Conform area. Call up the contextual menu on the Events list and choose to load a new EDL. Navigate to the EDLs and choose the 20 second version. As I said, this could either be an updated edit or another version. Click Import. In the Conform area, disable Save Sources as we don't want to duplicate the same media when the conform takes place. Call up the contextual menu on the Sources reel and set as Conform Search Location. So the original linked media will be used for the new sequence. Click Link Sources. 
If there is new media, you could link to that just by setting a new search location and follow the usual conforming steps. Switch back to the Timeline area. Now looking at the 22nd version of the edit, the segments are using the linked media like the rest of the sequences in the sequences reel. However, it has none of the look of the VFX we did earlier. So go back to the Sources sequence. Ensure everything is selected and call up the contextual menu. Choose Sync Connected Segments. Switch back to the 22nd sequence and all the segment connections are updated and in sync with all the other sequences. So hopefully you can see that using the Source Segment Connection is very flexible and simpler for this type of work. So in summary, you now have two types of workflows when it comes to performing a connected conform. You have the Shot Sequence workflow, which provides a more comprehensive workflow with a connected conform, allowing for versioning work, VFX work, VFX shot distribution and collaboration. Or you have the Sources Segment Connection workflow, which provides an easier and flexible way of maintaining a connected conform without requiring the functionality of a shot sequence. This works with Timeline Effects and Vertical Compositing, but not currently Batch Effects. Finally, I need to tell you, you cannot mix these workflows due to technical reasons. Choose the workflow that is best suited for your production pipeline and good luck with the Connected Conform workflow. Be sure to check out the other features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2017 Extension 1 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel for future videos.